Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to rig a model to the UE4 mannequin using this blender add-on called AutoRig Pro. I will leave a link in the description of where you can find it. This video is not sponsored by this product, although I just found this tool super helpful for rigging a character to the UE4 mannequin. I'm currently actually using it in this game that I'm developing to rig my characters. More details about this project will come soon. So in this video I'm going to cover how I've been using this tool to rig characters to the UE4 mannequin. I will not be covering how to install this add-on to Blender though. So the first thing you want to do is find a model. So I went to Sketchfab and I found this model of a skeleton and I'm just going to download it and rig it to the U4 mannequin in this video. Once you've downloaded your model, head over to Blender and you can just delete the default cube. Then you're going to go to File, Import and Import your model. Then what I like to do is if we head back to Unreal Engine, you want to head over to the character folder and then go to mesh and then go to where the SK underscore mannequin is and just right click on it and go to asset actions and export and just select the location where you want to export it and just click save. Then you'll scroll down and just uncheck level of detail and click export. Then if we head back to Blender, you just want to import the U4 mannequin here. So I'm just going to go import. FBX and import the U4 mannequin. So I'm just going to rotate my model 180 degrees. And I found when using this tool, you kind of want to make sure that your model is um, a similar scale to the U4 mannequin, otherwise, you can get some weird results. So this model looks like an appropriate size. So I'm just going to delete the U4 mannequin. So once we have that, we can use this tool. So first, just select your mesh and then if you have the add-on installed, it should be here in the add-on tab. So this is Autorig Pro. So you go to the Autorig Pro Smart and then get selected objects with your mesh selected. Then you want to click Add Neck, place this where your mesh's neck is. Then you want to go to Add Chin, place this where your model's chin is. Add Shoulders, place this where your model's shoulders are. Add Wrists, place this where your character's wrists are. Add spinary, you just want to place the way your character's pelvis is. And add ankles, you just want to place the way your character's ankles are. And then click go. And then you want to click match to rig. And then you want to go to object mode and just select your mesh and then select the rig. And then you go to skin and click bind. It will bind the rig to the mesh. And then you should be able to move it about. And then the final step is just exporting this. So we can just go to File, Export, Auto Rig Pro, select the location where you want to export it to, and then go to Unreal. For the settings, you want to select Unreal Engine, Humanoid, scroll down, rename for UE, UE Mannequin Axis, and add IK Bones. And I'll just call this my Zombie Test. And then Auto Rig Pro, FBX Export. And then I can just open up my Unreal Engine and drag this model inside here. And for the skeleton, I can just select the evil mannequin and click import. And it should import my model. And then if I go to my, and select my U4 mannequin and go to edit third person character, if I go to the viewport and select the evil mannequin, I can just click the skeletal mesh and then select the zombie test that I imported. And I'll just give it its texture. And now if I click play, I have this zombie character and it is rigged to the U4 mannequin. And that is how to rig a character to the E4 mannequin. So this tool is super helpful and I'm currently using it in my game to help me rig some characters. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.